Hi Cal fans, I'm your host Chelsea Brown and this is your February 22nd edition of This Week in Cal Athletics. We've got one of the more quiet weeks this spring with just women's tennis and women's basketball at home for action, though the Bears will be representing the blue and gold around the country this week. It's an important time of the year as basketball winds down the regular season schedule and with many teams set for conference championship competition. While the Bears come out each week to compete on the field, in the pool, on the courts, in tracks, or in the gym, a lot of unseen work is done behind the scenes. With that said, I am very excited to introduce a very special guest on today's episode. His name is David Seawright, and you'll be seeing a lot more of him as well as a lot more behind the scenes, as I just mentioned, in this week and months to come. Though I'd like to tell you exactly what he's going to do, let's let him tell you himself. Here he is. Thanks, Chelsea. Like she said, I'm David Seawright and I'm the man behind the all-new Bear blog on CalBears.com. For three years, I was a member of the football team here at Cal. I was a starting place kicker back in 2008 before a career-altering injury set me back. Now, as I'm set to graduate, I'm embarking on a new journey here with the athletic department, bringing you an all-access pass inside Cal Athletics. The athletic department has granted me previously unfathomable access to all of Cal's varsity sports, meaning I'll be places that no other media member can be. Everything from weight room workouts, conditioning, practices, and games, I'll be behind the scenes capturing it all for you, the fans. That behind the scenes look will include constant blog, photo, and video updates. For all your Cal Sports news, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash calbearblog and subscribe to us on YouTube at, you guessed it, youtube.com slash calbearblog. Of course, the best thing you can do is check out the blog itself every day at calbears.com slash blog. What makes the Cal Athletic Department so great is the diversity of success among all the different programs and the quality of student athletes who go to school here. The blog provides the perfect format for me to illustrate that to you, the diehard Cal fans. I'll be giving you that inside look at all of Cal's varsity sports while providing an intimate atmosphere for you to get to know the athletes who make up the Bears. So come with me on this journey. Check out the blog every day. Comment and tweet with me with your questions, concerns, or what you'd like to see. After all, I'm here for you, the guy working inside the athletic department to bring all the Cal news directly to you minute by minute. Thanks, Chelsea, and go Bears. Wow, that sounds exciting, David. Don't waste another minute except for the one you need to do to finish watching this video. Check out the new Cow Bear blog today. So this is what's on tap in Berkeley this week. Women's basketball looks to snap a five-game slide when Oregon and Oregon State come to town this weekend. The Bears and the Ducks tip off at 7 p.m. on Thursday before the Bears and the Beavers run the court on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Tickets for seats in Haas Pavilion are still available. Get yours today by calling 800-GO-BEARS or by visiting cowbears.com. Women's tennis hosts its first Pac-10 dual matches this weekend when Washington State and Oregon visit Hellman Tennis Complex. First serve against the Cougars is set for 1.30 p.m. on Friday. The Bears and the Ducks get started at noon on Saturday. Away from the Bay, our Bears are competing and representing Cal in events across the country. Men's basketball looks for its 15th and 16th wins in its last regular season road trip of the year when the Golden Bears pay a visit to Oregon and Oregon State. Cal Divers and the women's swimming team are in Federal Way, Washington for the Pac-10 Championships Wednesday through Saturday. Baseball's in South Carolina for the Caravelle Resorts Tournament and softball heads to the desert for the Palm Springs Classic. Lacrosse is on the East Coast for games against Longwood and Davidson. Men's tennis heads for matches against USC and UCLA while track and field heads north to Seattle for the MPSF Indoor Championships. Women's water polo is in Irvine for the UCI Invitational and rugby will make the short trip south to match up against UC Santa Cruz. Both golf teams will be in action next Monday and Tuesday. The men will head to SoCal for the USC Intercollegiate and the women will participate in the Julie Inkster Spartan Invitational in San Jose. Remember, you can watch the Cal Sports Report on Comcast Sportsnet California every Wednesday. Check your local listings for availability. You can listen to Cal on the airwaves at KNEW 910 AM every Monday evening from 6 to 7 p.m. on the Cal Coaches Corner with host Todd McKim. Click above to see the CalBears.com composite schedule for a listing of all Cal events and check out what's going on behind the scenes on the new Cal Bear blog. Thanks for watching This Week in Cal Athletics. I'm your host, Chelsea Brown, and as always, we'll see you next week. Go Bears!